Imagine waking up in a world where everything is seamlessly orchestrated into your life by invisible forces. When you wake up, your coffee is brewed to perfection. And your work knows your productivity and mood patterns and adapts to them. Lastly, when you drive to work or school, AI knows how to adapt and make your work efficient. Artificial intelligence is a stimulation of human thought processes by computers. Artificial intelligence's adaptability allows effects to be contributed to the economy in ways we've never seen before. Artificial intelligence will allow unprecedented growth in ways that we've never seen before. There's three main benefits I'm gonna be speaking about today with artificial intelligence. Firstly, efficiency. Artificial intelligence is available 24 seven to anyone in the world as long as you have an internet connection. Additionally, artificial intelligence allows for minimized human error and reduced costs. Which brings me to my second point, which is innovation. Artificial intelligence allows for innovation in ways we've never seen before. Innovation to lengths that would have not have been imaginable 100 years ago. And so by, com by combining human intelligence with artificial intelligence, we have two superpowers instead of one. Researchers around the world are using artificial intelligence to their benefit to collect large amounts of data and decode genetic information, solving cures to illnesses and making leaps in the medical industry. Lastly, artificial intelligence has a great impact on data collection and analysis of data. Financial analysts are using AI to collect large amounts of data and make conclusions or at least get one step closer to what they're looking at and have a better idea of their analysis. AI is allowing us to have a collective leap forward in our evolution as human beings. The Federal Reserve's current policy focuses on lagging indicators of inflation and jacking up interest rates. And the Federal Reserve currently believes we are in an inflationary period. However, real growth driven by productivity is not inflationary. It is deflationary. And productivity driven by AI allows our production to be more efficient, cost effective, and allows for greater innovation. And given this, analysts predict that AI will have contributed $15 trillion to the economy by 2030. And AI is only expanding and getting bigger. With any piece of technology comes its shortcomings. And so with AI, there's three main shortcomings that come at hand. First is its environmental impact. GPT-3, one of the largest AI language models, emitted 502 tons of CO2 equivalent in its training. And if you don't know how much that is, that's equivalent to driving your car to the planet, around the planet, 101 times. And another environmental impact of AI is its requirement for lots of GPUs and TPUs. And these processing units, due to advancements in the technological world, require constant updating. And so if we're not disposing of these correctly, we can see significant hazardous impacts to our environment. Secondly, ethics. Whenever you use an AI language model, a lot of your data is exposed to these large technological um, industries. And to train these models, you need lots of data. Secondly, ethics behind biases, geared around racial and gender bias. AI is known for correlating doctors with males and nurses with females. And this is due to a gap in its data and biases that are created because of false information and data that's submitted to these AI platforms. Thirdly, dependence. We cannot grow overly dependent on AI as we will lose our ability to interact with our work and family environments. Additionally, growing overly dependent on AI will result in susceptibility 
to cybersecurity threats caused by human caused by AI error, just like human error. And so we must take steps to regulate AI so that these things don't happen, as it's vital to our infrastructure and as our growth and our growth as human beings. And so these two pictures illustrate the growth of AI over the years. And so the picture on the right illustrates the tons of CO2 emitted training various AI language models. And the picture on the top left illustrates the various AI models and their growth. So is AI a threat to humanity or is it an opportunity for limitless growth? The key issue lies behind the regulation of AI. We must ensure that people know exactly how their data is being handled and that companies know the rules that are set in place for the regulation and growth of AI. We must ensure that AI is not growing at a fast pace, but also not growing at a slow pace. This in-between will ensure that significant economic growth is ensued and that harms, harmful effects are not imposed upon our environment and our community as a whole. Picture it like a growth of a tree that never stops growing. Initially, the tree is viewed as something that's beneficial to its environment and its community. However, if that tree is not maintained and if that tree is not taken care of, eventually it starts having effect, harmful effects on its environment that weren't thought of before. And this is very similar to AI. Regulation and the maintenance of AI is essential to its growth and its success. Thank you.